We're at the Skelvin Hospital where the Honorable Minister of Health, Dr. Frank Anthony, is conducting a walkthrough and meeting with staff, checking on equipment and see whatever the hospital needs. On the walkthrough this morning, we looked at the various departments and service area that we have. We started out at the emergency room, um, building on what we have uh, already at the hospital. He has pointed out some areas that we need to improve on, such as patient flow, um, some other equipment that we need. Um, he has also promised to assist with those. And walking through the, each department, we have been able, and he has been able to get a more uh, on hand experience of what is actually at the hospital, the services we offer with what we have, and some of the things we need to better serve the community. Some of the equipment that need upgrading would be our cardiac monitors, our ECG machines, our X-ray, ultrasound. Um, our lab is fully up to date, so he was looking at it and said we're doing pretty well with our laboratory services. Uh, so those are some of the areas that need. Also our dental department needs a few upgrades with the dental chairs. From Skeldon, we're now at the Port Morant Hospital where the Honourable Minister will conduct a similar visit and walk through of the hospital and speak with staff. Then, then to Port Morant. Now we're at the New Amsterdam Hospital, where Minister of Health Dr. Frank Anthony will be conducting another walkabout and meeting with the staff. Dr. Frank Anthony also presented two ventilators that will service the entire region. We are very happy to be here in the region. Uh, we had an opportunity to look at the Skeldon Hospital and had a tour, and we were able to see a number of issues that were happening there, as well as Port Morant, and now we are at um, New Amsterdam. Uh, we want to take this opportunity to donate these two ventilators uh, to the New Amsterdam Hospital and also an oxygen concentrator. As you know, one of the things that we've been talking about, we, we wanted to ensure that our ICUs are better equipped and ventilators in ICUs are an essential piece of equipment. And we hope that with these two uh, ventilators, it would be improving the services that you're offering. With COVID, one of the things that we know that patients with COVID, if they move from the mild form to forms where they have to be hospitalized, meaning maybe a more severe form of COVID, that one of the things that they would need is respiratory support. And in many of the places where we are caring for these patients, respiratory support would either mean that we have to get a BiPAP or CPAP machine, or in some cases, to have uh, ventilatory support. And so we are very pleased that we can uh, send these two uh, ventilators to this hospital, and hopefully um, it would help you to care better for your patients. These are very important uh, equipment that we can utilize here at this hospital. Of course, as you know, uh, we didn't for quite some time now have ventilators. And at this time when the COVID uh, pandemic is around the corner, not around the corner, but every year, we, these two machines I think will go a very, very long way in terms of us being able to deliver better quality of service to people who are coming in here. We are well aware that COVID-19 ventilator care, ventilatory support is one of the most critical aspects in improving the prognosis for our patients. So Region 6 definitely welcome that. We welcome the support and looking forward so that we can improve our patient care outcome and at the same time deal effectively with COVID at a regional level. We've been able to look at uh, the Skeldon Hospital. We had a walk through this morning and uh, the doctors there 
showed us what they are doing, and I had uh, an opportunity to observe them, how they work, and what are some of the services that we are providing. Um, at that hospital, uh, I found that there are still a number of things that we need to do there. So, for example, they don't have an operating theater, and this is something that we we'll want to look at to see what we can do to fix that. Uh, there are also a, a number of other pieces of equipment that we think if they get it uh, soon, it would enhance the quality of service that they are able to provide. And so we've had some brief discussions with the doctors on acquiring some of these things. We spoke with the chair of the region and we'll see how we can put some measures in place uh, to be able to acquire some of these things. In both of the hospitals that we have visited so far, um, it was reported that they have uh, shortages of various types of medication. And I'm hoping that within the week that we'll be able to resolve uh, those shortages. The ministry right now is procuring $3.2 billion worth of medication. And as soon as we get those supplies, we'll be able to send some up uh, to uh, these hospitals and of course to the region. Because this is an urgent pr uh, procurement, not just for Region 6, but for all the regions in the country. We had to do some urgent procurement of reagents and also to give the providers of these equipment uh, some servicing contract. I was pleased that uh, both at Skeldon and at the New Amsterdam facility that they have um, at least the basic laboratory tests that they are able to do and we will be providing them with additional reagents so that they can continue to offer these uh, tests. Uh, so, so far, those were the main types of findings. Again, at um, Port Morant, uh, one of the things that we looked at is how we can improve some sections of the hospital. And definitely, we want to get the ophthalmology, uh, the ophthalmology. The ophthalmology uh, hospital um, operating at some capacity, as it is right now. Um, when we looked at the facility, the main theaters are not working because the microscopes that they have to use are dysfunctional and there are a whole host of other things that are not working there. So if we are going to get that facility up and running, um, we have some equipment issues that we have to resolve, some staffing issues, uh, but that is something that definitely we will want to um, sort out. From Region 6 with videographer Aubrey Odell, I'm Felicia Valenzuela. Thanks for joining us.